Hey, what's going on guys? It's Arthur here, and today I'm going to be attempting to get to round 22 on farm with no magic, headshots only, and hellhounds enabled. I saw a couple of videos from Chicken Teller, Chrism, and Apothos doing this challenge, and I want to prove to everyone and those guys that this challenge is easy. I don't even know why people think this challenge is so hard. I'm going to get to round 30 on this, and if I get there, I'm going to prove I'm the best zombie player out there. Without further ado, let's start the challenge, shall we? I'm going to prove to everyone that they're just poopy at this game, and I'm the best out there. Oh, zombies. Alright. Because it's headshots only, so I can only just hit them in the head. Let me see. Eh, yeah, that's easy. I killed the stick with that. I don't know why everyone thinks this challenge is so hard. Like, just run around the zombies. <laughs> it's that easy. Like, just buy the MP5 and just run around the zombies and hit him in the head. That easy. Can you even knife a zombie? Nope, nothing. So, Galvan Knuckles and Melee is useless. Good to know. Alright, so I'm just going to go by this door here and... Wait. I think I already fucked up. I have no ammo for my 1911. I have no grenades. I can't knife. And I don't even have enough for the Olympia, do I? Nope, I can't even buy it. Did I just already fuck this challenge up? I can, not in round two. How can I even gain points on this map? How? Oh, wait. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now I can go by the Olympia. A little mistake right there. I was really worried there. It would be embarrassing to fail this challenge at round two. Oh, don't want to get hit there. Again, I don't know how you could die on this map. Just run around the zombies. Avoid getting hit. Stay easy. So I'm gaining at least 110 points for every headshot kill. So I'll be able to get the uh, MP5 with just 5 more kills to the head. And I also realized that having Hellhounds on, they're not going to give me a max ammo drop. So it's just going to make the whole thing a lot more harder. So I was going to kill a couple more zombies until I could afford the MP5. There we go, now I have enough. Now let's go buy the MP5. Make this challenge a lot more easier. I now have the MP5 and I'm a happy person. Now let's just get the easy headshot kills with this. The MP5 really trivializes this challenge. I don't get how people think this challenge is so hard. It's just like Bus Depot without the box. But at least you have the MP5. MP5 is such a great weapon. Alright, that should have been the second last zombie. So let's go kill the last zombie. If it's around here and it's somewhere. Ah, uh, don't hit me. Alright, oh, there's a couple more. Alright, here's the last zombie. Yep, there it is. I can already see myself at round 30 doing this challenge. Again, this is just so easy. Everyone that uh, fails the challenge, I feel like it's just a major skill issue with them. But again, just avoid getting hit. Stay easy. Sorry, I just fast forward quite a bit. Uh, the round is going a little bit too slow. I believe I have the last zombie somewhere. Here it is. Oh, last two. Alright, there we go. That round ended. Now, who am I close to beating? As far as I know, Chicken Teller got to like, what, round 22? Round 21? I don't know how Cerism, or I don't know how the, how the hell his name is pronounced, got to. But I believe I know how many rounds Apophos reached. And that was only 6. So if I pass round 6, I would have beaten him. Eh, sounds easy. I got into round 10 before, if only a pistol. Oh, how could I miss all that? 
Also said I have no grenades to even use, so yeah, I'm just going to have to run with the MP5. That's the last zombie? Alright, I'm gonna fish him off with the Olympia. Oh! This challenge sucked anyways. <laughs> 